Hello Virgo, welcome to another reading. This is gonna be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you currently. Um, as always, it's meant to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo 100%. Uh, take what resonates and applies to your situation. All right, let's get into this. Spirit and just guides for Virgo. Messages for Virgo regarding love spirit. What does Virgo need to know? Tell me anything that uh, Virgo needs to know regarding love some of you are dealing with a scorpio and i feel like they might come up we'll see okay so let's see in the past present future we have king of wands reverse seven of cups reverse queen of swords yikes virgo who <laughs> whatever this is it has not been fun Challenges insight on this situation. Seven of cup uh, seven of cups reverse. Seven of pentacles reverse, two of pentacles reverse. Hmm. How do you feel about this person? Eight of wands, ten of pentacles reverse. How do they feel about you? Three of wands reverse. Nine of wands reverse. Yikes, you guys. Potential outcome, we have the moon, Pisces energy, the higher font, Taurus energy. What you need to know, King of Swords, the Emperor reverse, Aries energy. Bottom of the deck, oh my God, Seven of Swords reverse. Yes, it's all over this reading. Um, some of you are probably like, what are you even talking about? We'll get into it. Um... This is why everything is happening, the Seven of Swords reverse. Either someone screwed up badly in a connection or they got found out. Something came to the light here. But I don't think you know everything because I have the moon. So I feel like this is ongoing. Some of you are uh, married to this person or in a long-term commitment with this person. And... Um, Virgo, I feel like this has been a very confusing situation. I feel like for a lot of you, you didn't know what to do about this connection or this problem that happened between you for a long time. I feel like it took you some time to make a decision here, but I feel like a lot of you are making a very big decision after some time. And this decision could be to break up a commitment Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll get more clarity in here. Um, I have the Queen of Swords, King of Swords on the board. Um, I have the Emperor, Reverse, King of Wands, Reverse. These are very difficult people to deal with when you combine these energies. Like um, when I see a Queen of Swords with a King of Wands Reverse, for example, I think, holy crap, back off. <laughs> Do not want to deal with them. Um... And then when I see a King of Swords with the Emperor reverse, terrible, terrible energy. In terms of like someone that could be extremely controlling, upset, um, petty, vindictive, fill in the blanks. I don't know if you've been dealing with someone like this or you will be dealing with someone like this. Or if this is just the energy that you are bringing to this situation after being completely fed up. Let's see what's well, let's see what happened here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Let's start here. This is why everything is happening. The bottom of the deck energy. The Fool and the Magician. Wow. Interesting. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. This is about a connection. I feel like, hold on, let me double check. Tell me about the magician before I start talking. Spirit, can you get some clarity for Virgo with this magician? Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? 
three of pentacles so someone was really working on something on manifesting something on making something happen but it wasn't for the right reasons five of swords it's almost like they were trying to get ahead of the game or or get a head start or do things like like cutting corners but in a strategic way and i think it backfired i think this is someone that didn't see the consequences with the fool it's almost like whatever they tried they made happen or try to make happen here um they didn't realize they were walking right out of a cliff here and it's it's i feel like this was something that had a lot of potential or maybe it could have led down a, a certain path but um i feel like this was um this was a mistake tell me about the fool what is the fool doing here ten of pentacles so we have the ten of pentacles twice so i feel this was about a commitment um it could have been even about money tell me about the fool why is the fool here yeah ten of swords this this ended badly okay this could have been, uh, led to the ending of a commitment this could have been someone cheating as well if that resonates for you virgo please let me know in the comments i feel like this hasn't been a good connection for a while feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you but i'm this is a virgo reading so i'm speaking to virgos you know um, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me about the seven of... of um, by the way, I'm not going to be clarifying every single card. Just the cards that I feel need, I need clarity on. Okay. Tell me about the seven of cups reverse. Tell me about the seven of cups reverse. Yep. So five of swords showed up again. I feel like someone realized that it was the wrong choice. Whenever I see the seven of cups reverse... I think two things either number one someone made a choice or number two they made the wrong choice okay so it depends on what cards come out so when I see the five of swords here someone chose wrong this is what's happening right now in the present so this makes perfect sense with what I've just clarified over here tell me about the queen of swords I feel like this is a uh, someone wearing an investigator hat um <laughs> tell me about the queen of swords like this queen of swords found things out whatever this moon is this queen of swords is going to get to the bottom of it tell me about the queen of swords nine of cups tell me about the queen of swords yeah tell me about the queen of swords please spirit two of wands yeah i feel like this queen of swords was just waiting for confirmation this might have been um, a queen of swords energy that was waiting to make a certain decision yeah because I have down here these these two this position is the challenges or insight on the situation right so it's kind of like the behind the scenes or the backup to this energy and so i have here a seven of pentacles reverse which is somebody that is no longer waiting or is very impatient um, or someone that is just kind of like they basically wasted their time and then i have the two of pentacles reverse which tells me that someone could have made a choice here after they realized that they waited you know wasted their time or they made this choice after a long time I mean, and I feel like this choice is going to be, it's going to lead to uh, satisfaction. So this could be, you know, if this is someone that's trying to figure out the truth of something, they will be satisfied. If this is someone that needed confirmation, they will be satisfied. If this is someone that just needs information, there's they're going to there's going to be satisfaction here. Do you know what I'm saying? And I hope that makes sense. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse with the Two of Pentacles reverse. Why are these two energies here? King of Wands, Seven of Wands. Yikes. So this is um, someone fighting back, I feel. Standing firm. Facing a challenge with 
courage. This is courage. This is someone bold, brave, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the King of Wands, air energy with the Queen of Swords. But I'm, I'm picking more that this Queen of Swords, I feel like the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, and I know this is not going to make sense to people that don't read cards, but you know, I'm just going to say it anyway, just for context, right? Sometimes with the court cards, you know, King of Wands, Queen of Swords, those kind of cards, sometimes when I put them down on the board, I think that's a person, right? And other times I think of a quality, a particular quality, you know, a trait, depending on what else is on the board. Anyways, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, I feel are here as traits, um, almost like someone's embodying this energy. So I feel like this might be you, Virgo, even though you're not a Virgo, um, I'm sorry, even though you're not an air sign, I feel like this is you. You are this Queen of Swords, and I even feel like you might even be this King of Swords. Basically, what I'm picking up is Virgos, you stopped giving a crap about what's making others happy. I feel like this is a Virgo who um, was very patient and has had enough, or perhaps they were in the dark about something for a long time, and so they were playing um playing uh nice they were playing nice that's that's the phrase but that's i feel like that's changing because of what's happened because something is now seen revealed right you're able to see something for what it truly is it's no longer an illusion so let's see how you feel about each other let's get your energies here I have you on the top, Virgo, and your person on the bottom, but you can flip it, you know. Can I get some insight, please? Clarity on Virgo's energy and their person's energy, Spirit. Tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. What do we need to know about Virgo's energy? What do we need to know, Spirit, about Virgo's energy? Paralyzing fear. Anxiety. Fear, paralysis, fear is holding you back. And then bottom of the deck, moving forward. This is not surprised me because this moving forward card comes out in like every Virgo reading that I do for the past like three to four months. If you don't believe me, check out the playlist. <laughs> so once again, I feel like this has been a long time coming. This moving forward has been a long time coming for a lot of Virgos, especially on my channel. I just feel like now Virgos are actually pulling the trigger, but I think that there might be something holding you back because now it's real. Tell me about Virgo's person. What is Virgo's person's energy? What is Virgo's person's energy? Sir? What is Virgo's person's energy? Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. Tied up, trapped, stuck, burden. Okay, so this person could be a person that's already in a commitment here, or this is the person you're in a commitment with. I feel like the state of wands is a card about movement, moving out of something, or maybe out of a marriage. Tell me about the eight of wands with the ten of pentacles reverse. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is reversed, and notice how the Ten of Pentacles is with the Ten of Swords up here. So, I am seeing the end of a commitment here. Or a brutal ending in a connection. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Now, Virgo, you could have instigated this, or someone else, that you, maybe your person is the one that made this happen, or something like that. We'll see. Knight of Wands, the Sun. Can I get one more for the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles reverse? I feel like someone cheated and they got caught. And it didn't even, it could have been emotional cheating. Yep, Seven of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. I don't believe in coincidences, guys. There's the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What are the odds that the Seven of Swords comes out here, you know? with the Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Wands, right? I feel like someone here, either they cheated or they did something very, very stupid. Because this is now being seen very clearly with the sun. It cannot be hidden any longer. 
If it was hidden before, it is no longer hidden. This could have been something you found out online, on social media. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse with the Nine of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse with the Nine of Wands reverse. Ace of Swords, yep. Interesting. I might be speaking to two Eight of Swords. I might be speaking to two different types of, two groups of Virgos. I get one more for the Three of Wands reverse and the Nine of Wands reverse. Seven of Cups. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So once again, this illusion, I feel like this is the person that, oh man, but see, every time I want to say that, I feel like I shouldn't say it. Okay, so this is what I see. For one group of Virgos, and I'm sorry if I'm confusing anybody in advance, but you know, I'm not happy about this either. I wish it was just like one clear message. Okay, for the first group of Virgos, you want to hear it from this person's mouth. You just want confirmation. You want them to tell you the truth, the truth that you already know. And perhaps they're too scared to tell you and they're trying to muddy the waters here, trying to confuse things. Maybe trying to come up with an excuse, et cetera, et cetera, fill in the blank. This person is trying to buy some time. For the other group of Virgos, group number two, I feel like this is someone that's trying to work up the courage to say something. Something that hasn't been said with the sick with the high priestess. Why is the ace of swords here? Why is the ace of swords here? I feel like swords are very I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm getting so like I have to explain, right? But you know, I'm thinking out loud here and you know, <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Uh I feel swords are very important in this reading, okay? They're like the, I literally am thinking of a sword like as the shiny object that's like stabbing something and nailing it down, okay? Lovely imagery, I'm sure. But I have the seven of swords here reversed. Right away, huge wake up, um, you know, huge message. Ten of swords, another huge message. Seven of swords upright, big message. Ace of Swords, also important. And King Queen of Swords and King of Swords, very important as well. Symbolic, even. Um, tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Two of Cups. Can I get one more of the Ace of Swords? The high priestess okay so not a lot of clarity here in the sense of like i still feel it's two groups someone just wants whatever this conversation is is about a partnership and there was secrets here okay which i already know that so let's get let's get into the moon and the high, higher font here tell me about the moon this is what's going to be coming in the near future the near future outcome why is the moon here the star Aquarius energy. Why is the moon here? Strength. Leo energy. I feel like this is someone that's hoping for the best but not sure what's going to happen. Uh, trying to be strong, trying to have faith, trying not to fall apart um, because they need to be strong for what's coming even though they don't quite know what that is. Ace of Wands. Okay, so something new. Tell me about the Hierophant. Maybe it's because it's something new that's so scary for someone. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Three of Cups here? 
this is a third party well it has to be a third party situation if there's someone that's potentially cheating stella duh okay tell me about the higher font why is the higher font here why is the higher font here five of pentacles queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck there you are virgo with the hermit Someone's going to get shut out here, I feel. There's going to be a, a winner and a loser, in a way. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. Why is the Hierophant here? Also, I find it fascinating. Okay, the Hierophant clarified by the Hierophant and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is, um okay, we got the Seven of Pentacles, so I don't get um, distracted. Seven of Pentacles and Temperance, this is timing. Something's happening slowly, and someone's not sure exactly how it's going to end up. And it's about a commitment and a third-party situation. Page of Cups, Page of Swords, okay. So there could be communication happening around this. Now, I, I'm not sure about this third-party situation, um... And what, what do I mean by that? I feel like, okay, hold on. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups, please. Some clarity, please, on this Three of Cups. Ten of Wands. So this, this Three of Cups, when I... When I look at this energy... I feel like the Three of Cups, this third party situation, I feel like it's the symptom, not the cause. So this third party is not the true reason why this connection fell apart. Not to say that it was right. I'm not saying anything like that. But I feel like there were problems here already. Just This just ended up kind of like blowing, like it was like a Pandora's box. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Emperor Reverse. Someone's not happy. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Emperor Reverse. Aries energy here with the Emperor. Justice, Libra energy. Look at all this major arcana like just coming up. Um, I mean, if you notice, when we start, first started clarifying, we did start with two major arcanas. But after that, they were kind of just, excuse me, sprinkled throughout. And now that I'm clarifying the outcome, it's like major arcana is everywhere. Okay, so we have here page of wands. I feel there's some sort of legal decision for some of you here. Some someone is using this sword, this king of swords justice here. They're both carrying a big sword of truth. So I feel like there's someone again, like an investigator or someone making a final decision, a judgment call here, and someone's not happy. And it could very well be that they're just pissed and they're like, enough is enough. Yeah, yeah. Someone here, oh man, and it's not going to be pretty. Okay, we have the moon at the bottom of the deck again with the, um, we have the moon up there. And the ace of cups, Pisces energy. So what I'm picking up here is that someone was probably waiting for this to get, to, waiting to get their life started or to get something started. And maybe they were waiting because they didn't want to make a mistake. And I feel like this is you, Virgo, okay? When I say someone, I feel like this is you for a lot of you. I feel like you made a final decision. I feel like you were the one to find things out or you made a decision after finding something out. It doesn't really matter, but this is a final decision here. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Yeah, King of Swords. So this is you making a final decision based on truth, cutting out whatever, what no longer serves you, cut, getting, cutting out anybody in your way. I feel like you've been very patient. Very patient. 
but I think enough is enough. The emperor, interesting. I feel like you um you wanted to 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 regain control of the situation. You didn't want to lose control of the situation. You wanted things to remain balanced and stable. Maybe at home, maybe in your work life, maybe in your finances. Um, but I feel like you kind of are losing that control a little bit because I feel like in your mind it's not fair what an interesting reading this will not resonate with every Virgo watching so if it does resonate for you please let me know in the comments or like this video okay I feel like um, sometimes you know the people that it doesn't resonate with are the ones that always want to comment and let you know right but I do feel like this message is for someone and I feel like this message could apply to a lot of different people but for most of you this is someone that was unfaithful or made a big mistake um and i feel like you found out and you took your time making a final decision about it and even though the future is not clear um i feel like deep down you know this is the right thing even if it's difficult 